Hi everyone, so this afternoon we're going to do some geography, again carrying on what we've been looking at this term, just to wrap everything up before the half term break. So last week we designed our own key for some of the things that we can find in our local area. So of course you can't look back through your book to remind yourself, but have a little think, um, what were the sort of locations that we used into our, in our key? So you can pause the video and have a little think now. So of course it was things like main roads, houses, car parks, the caravan site, the Churchill School, green areas, Lidl and Tesco Extra. So today we are going to be drawing a simple map using the key that you created last week. So of course you will have to do this from memory or if you want to you could uh, create a new one that you could then use for this map that you're doing today. So we need to start with the main roads to get the structure of the area and then you can add in the detail from your key. So on the next few slides we've got some aerial photos which you can use um, to keep your maps as accurate as possible. So you could pause the video and have a look at the uh, maps, at the pictures, um, and then have a look at the structure of the area, what are the sort of key things that we need to make sure we're including, um, and things like that. So you can pause the video now for this one. And here is another one. It's the same area, just um, slightly different. You can see the green areas and things like that on this one. Of course, if you are watching this on a smaller screen and you can't see these, um, these are just from Google. So you can just Google uh, the Churchill School or Hawkinge and then zoom in until you find this area. So your task today, obviously, um, I don't, I haven't been able to draw the outlines of the main roads for you because obviously you guys are at home now. Um, so on a piece of paper, you can have a go at drawing um, your map of Hawkinge or maybe you want to do your local area at home that might be slightly different. Um, and then you can use the key to make sure that the rest of your map is as accurate as possible. Once you've drawn it, then you can add your colour. Now remember, it is just a simple map, so you only need to plot key locations like the Churchill School and the main roads. You don't need to focus on all of the uh, smaller, um, quieter roads in the area. Okay, good luck, enjoy, and I will see you soon. Bye!